Hello, good evening, girls. We have Claudia, um, Carito, Andrea. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you feeling? Good? Excellent. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. Andreita, hello, Andreita. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I don't know why you're so angry. It's Solo a veces, solo a veces. What time do you usually go to bed? At 11, um, at 12? Mm, 11. At 11. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's say 11, 11. 11 30. In some times. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you, Claudia? 11. At 11, okay. Yes. Well, and Carito, um, what time do you usually go to bed? Um, 10, 30. Mm -hmm. So after the class, you go to bed? Yes. I don't think so, but let's say yes. Vamos. Yes. Okay. So here we have also Diego. Hello. How was your day? How are you feeling? Hi, teacher. Sure. A little, a little bit busy, but okay. What about busy. you? Well, um, praying to come Saturday because I want to rest a little bit. This <laughs> has too. been a very hard uh, week. Yes. I'm very tired too. I I hope to rest. Yeah, we deserve it. Very we well. deserve a good rest. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're talking about time or what time we go to bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? Mm, I don't know. I usually go to bed around around midnight or one a.m. Okay. Okay. At midnight. And what time do you get up or wake up? At time uh, at norm. Uh, I usually get up at I don't know. When I work in just part time, I wake up around nine or ten a.m. Okay, so yeah, you, you have like a, uh, yes, like nine hours. Okay, eight hours. Yeah, but but when when I am uh, working uh, all the day, a full time. Full time. Yes, I get up around 7 or 8 a.m. Okay, yeah. But even to have enough time, enough rest time, right? Yeah, yeah it is good. You really just need four or five hours. Okay, okay. As well. Perfect. Thanks, Diego. Hello, Susie. You're good welcome. evening. Good evening, teacher. Te veo más joven, Susie. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lost everything it. okay? <laughs> Todo bien? Yes? Yep. Excellent. Yep. Okay, um, we have also Carla. Hello, good evening, Carla. Carmen. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. Carmen, Helen, and Christian. Good evening, well, teacher. Good evening, my friends. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Christian. Hi, and Helen, that maybe she's about to, to, to arrive. She is uh, to arrive. Um, uh, at home. So this is the class number 16. And after this, we're having just Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So we're about to finish the last um, things that we have to do are um, like the, the homeworks, the last homeworks, and the final test. That's, uh, well, that's all we have to do. So relax. Because you have good grace, tiene buenas notas. Yes, all of you have uh, have good grades. I was checking because some of you have missed some homeworks, but now that I check, uh, you are updated. Just an actualization. Okay. So to start or to begin uh, with, we have ways to report a problem, and it is good to have uh, this clear because uh, it is very common that we have problems, not only with technological devices, 
but with the product that we have, the product that we manipulate, the processes, or the in some cases, the, some informs or re, uh, reports, documents that we have to evaluate. And we have to check some processes in the case of purchasing, for, for instance, in the case of las compras. So you can report a problem related to raw material, verdad, para, para el, el material que se compra, and all these things. So uh, it is good to, to know it. And we are on class number 16, okay? And to begin with, um, you remember that yesterday we, um, we pra practiced and uh, ways to ask, how are you, right? There are different forms to say, how are you? Not just uh, the same one. So you can say, how is everything? How have you been? How are you feeling? What's new with you? How was your day? How are the things going? Okay. And to respond to this, to answer this, we have also ways to say, I'm fine. You can say it in different forms. But also here we have, for, for instance, uh, pretty good, couldn't be better, I'm doing good, I'm doing fine, on the top of the world, I'm alive, I'm doing all right, or so far, so good. So if you want to take notes or to have a screenshot, it's okay, right? Because uh, there are like different forms to say I'm fine. And if you notice, you, uh, you just not say I'm fine anymore. Ya no dicen esto. ¿verdad? Antes sí lo decía, bueno, en el curso pasado, I'm fine, 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 todo decía I'm fine. Now you say good, cool, excellent, perfect. There are different forms to say it. So you can say pretty good. So pretty significa bonita. Uh, es un adjetivo, pero también es un, es, pues, es una palabra que significa muy, por ejemplo, pretty busy, muy ocupado, pretty good, muy bien. Es como un very, similar a un very, okay? Couldn't be better, couldn't be better. I am doing good, I am doing fine. On the top of the world, I'm alive. I'm doing all right. So far, so good, okay? So far, so good, que significa hasta ahora, todo bien, right? So on the top of the world, es como en la cima del mundo, como que están bastante bien. So uh, what we're going to do to begin with is to ask one of these questions, okay? In a different form. We're not going to say, how are you? No vamos a decir así. Vamos a utilizar cualquiera de estas. And we're going to answer with this, okay? Pretty good. Could it be better? I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. On the top of the world, I'm alive. I'm doing all right. So far, so good. So we're going to start with Andreita. So you ask to someone, Okay, someone else uh, with one of these questions and the other person is going to answer with uh, these options. Okay, Andrea? Okay. Um, uh, first of all, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Andrea. What's new with you? Um, I, I. On, on the top of the world. On, on, on the top of the world. Perfect. Okay, now you go. Ahora yo voy a preguntar. Yes, one of this. Ah, okay. How have you been? How have you been? I, I'm doing good. No, no, Andreita. Pregúntale a alguien. ¿A quién le decimos? ¿A quién? Di el nombre. Quiero ver. Claudia. Claudia, how have you been? Says Andrea. Ah. How is everything? Ok, Claudia, how is everything? Claudia. Momento, dice, estoy analizando la pregunta. <risas> ok, eh, no. Bueno, es práctico. Uh -huh. Ustedes dicen cualquiera de esas ah. preguntas y contestan con cualquiera de esas. Ah. O sea, es sencillo. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I'm doing good. I'm doing, I'm doing good. Ok, ah, now you I'm ask. I'm doing good. Yes, now you ask to another person. Ahora le preguntas a alguien más. Alguien más. Ok, Claudia. Oh. 
Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Okay. Marlon. Okay, Marlon. Hello, Marlon. You can ask, uh, you can answer with one of these, please. Okay. Hello. Um, on the top of the world. Okay, perfect. Now you, Marlon, ask to another person with one of these questions. Okay, uh, Helen. How was your day? Thank you. How was your day? Helen, are you there? Is that for a Helen? I think she's not available, but we're going to ask to Mercy. Le vamos a preguntar a Mercy. Okay, Mercy, puedes contestar con cualquiera de estas. Hello, teacher. Voy Hello. entrando con esa pregunta. Okay. Estamos preguntando con cualquiera de estas que yo les se las expliqué el día de ayer y ahora les estoy dando estas opciones para contestar en lugar de decir I'm fine. Okay. Ahora a ti te toca contestar con cualquiera de estas. Oh, ready to? Ok, ahora tú haces una pregunta a alguien más. Okay. De how are you feeling, Kevin? Yeah. Ok, yeah. how are you feeling, Kevin? Yeah. Kevin. No está acá Kevin, so how are you feeling? Le preguntamos a Carmen. Carmen, how are you feeling? Carmen, how are you feeling? Mm -hmm. I'm doing all right. We're doing all right. Thank you, Carmen. Now you go to with another person. Okay. Uh, Christian? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What's new with you? Okay, Christian, what's new with you? Uh, I am doing good. Okay, I'm doing good. Okay, now you ask to another person, Christian. Okay. Cristian, tienes que preguntarle a alguien más. A Diego sería. Okay, go ahead. Eh, who have who have you been? No, been no, no. Okay, how? How have you been? How do you been? Okay, Diego, please. I'm good, thanks. Okay, And good. what about you, Helen? What's new with you? Okay, Helen is not available now. So we're going wow. to ask to Susie, okay? Okay. And how are, how are the things going, Susie? Uh, could, couldn't be better. Thank you. Okay, Susie. Now you can ask to Carla if you prefer. Okay, Carla. Podría ponerme las preguntas, sí. Okay. Uh, how was your day? Um, I am to, I am alive. I am alive. Okay, perfect. And now, Carla, tu carito, porque creo que no ha pasado carito. Right? Mm -hmm. How, how, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Okay, Carito. On the top of the world. On the top of the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now that we have this, uh, remember that there are different forms to ask a question and there are different forms to respond, okay, or, or to answer. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it is good to have it clear. It's bueno ya tenerlo claro, right? No solo vamos a decir fine, normalmente automáticamente. Decimos fine. Okay, so um, here we have two legal driving age B21. Debería de ser la edad legal para manejar o para conducir a los 21. Okay, tell me what's your opinion about it. And I would like to listen to Carmen. Carmen, are you ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, just, just, uh, I'm just going to check the attendance list. Okay, so I'll revise the list of assistance. Okay, and just give me a minute. Okay, Ana Mercedes, hello. Present. Thank you, Andrea. I'm fine. I. <laughs> <laughs> Perdón. <laughs> Hi, Andreita. 
I'm fine. Lo que les digo que no digan. Lo digo. Andreita. Ok, good. Thanks. I'm alive. At least I'm alive. Ok. Um, Claudia. Present. Thank you, Carito. Present. Carmen. Thanks. Present. Nice. Uh, Christian. Present. Good. Alex. Present. Good. Diana. Do we have Diana here? No. No Diana. Diego. I'm here. Good to hear you. Dora. Dorita. Edgar. Oh. Mm, Helen. I guess Helen is walking. Creo que Helen va caminando. Um, Carla. Hello. Hello, Kevin. No, Marlon. Present. Hello, thank you. And Susie. Because Veronica. Hi. Thanks. Veronica, no, not here. Okay, Carmen, please tell me what's your opinion about it. Okay, teacher. Uh, no, I consider that at 18 years old is fine because many people begin their independent and productive life at that age. Okay, so you consider that 18 is okay? Yes. Okay, and remember, we were discussing the last time uh, when do you become an adult? When you become an adult, right? So mm -hmm. it's similar because of the responsibility. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Carmen. Very nice point. And what about Christian? Are you ready, Christian? I am ready. Okay, my friend. Uh, my opinion is no. I can be from the, the age of 15 years as long as they meet the requirement established by law. Okay, yes. Requirements son los requisitos. Yes, I know some uh, teenagers that they are 15, 16, and they are really good drivers, but they should have like uh, driving classes, uh, supervision, and if they're responsible, of course, they can do it. Okay, but if they fulfill their requirements, thank you. Okay, now uh, what if we'll listen to Susie? Okay, Susie. Okay, I think so. Science driving is a great responsibility and con, con, commitment. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Commitment. Commitment. On the other hand, for any emergence, emergency, it would be good for someone over um, 18 years old to drive. Okay, yes, it is a big responsibility, but there are some emergencies and there are some other situations, right? That they may uh, try and they could be younger. Okay, um, now um, we're going to listen to Alex. Are you ready, Alex? Yes. No, I didn't add uh, 18 would be fine. Okay. Uh, your opinion is that 18, it's okay, right? No problem yes. with that. Okay, fine. What if we we'll listen to um, Carla? Are you there, Carla? Uh, not. Is shall, shall be when the person uh, works to be able to take responsibility. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And we're finding this round with Diego. Okay, Diego, tell me. Okay, okay. And I believe that is not necessary because you can learn to drive very young. Then if you know all the real signs and everything about how to drive well, you can have your driving license without problems. But on the other hand, if you have an accident, even if you are younger, you have to pay for it. And with this, I mean, if, if it is serious, 
you have to pay even in prison like, like an adult. In conclusion, I mean that you can get your driver license when you are young, but first you have to educate yourself to be a low abiding driver. That's it. And of course, remember that the, you have to pay even money or time impression. And uh, sometimes we associate uh, young people with bad decisions, but there are a lot of adults that they take bad decisions. Even they are supposed to have yeah. experience, right? And they, they have car crashes or they have car accidents, okay? So it is like a relay. Look at me, I, I take yeah. bad decisions all the time. <laughs> well, but there are some good decisions as well, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Well, uh, so, well, those are like the main points and we're going to listen to some of you later, okay? We're going to continue with this. We have this uh, short conversation. What if we take a look at this and I'm going to ask you about uh, yeah, some of the vocabulary. Okay, now that we have like a clear idea, Marlo, what uh, is the conversation about the war? Some of the words that you remember. Of course, I couldn't read. I, I could read, teacher, uh, oh, um, about a problem uh, in the human resources area. Okay. And they are calling to, to the tech support department. Okay, tech support and human resources area problem. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, we're having also Helen. Hello, good evening, Helen. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Hello, cool, cool. You see, what is there? Yes. Uh, tell and me reports, problems, if doesn't seem weekend, parece que es algo así. Okay, thank you. Ya vamos a ver si no me mentís. Okay, um, <laughs> what about Carmen? Yo vi lo de human resource. No viste, no. Eso es lo que vi, pero okay. ya lo mencionó Marlon. Ok, yo me lo resuelvo, que se le ganaron ahí. Vocabulary, Susi. Then Andrea. I like to report a problem. Ok, I like to report a problem. Yeah, perfect. And Andrea. I ask you some questions. Ok. Ask you some questions. Yes, that's it. And Christian. Uh, Sería, what is it, Robert? Let me ask a good morning. Mm -hmm. Good, Carla. Uh, good morning, the Peter. Okay, yes. Claudia, do you remember the names of the people in the conversation? These two guys. En lo que yo escuché. Okay, <laughs> lo que yo me. pude ver. Okay, okay. Uh, Computer, what is Robert? Report, good morning. Okay, thank you. Uh, Diego, you remember the names of the, uh, these two guys? It's sorry, teacher, I don't. You remember? I was distracted because my my dog was biting my feet. <laughs> okay, no problem. And I can see it. Okay, just relax. I'm going to ask to Carito. Okay, Carito. Okay, and the yes, two guys is Peter and Robert. Yes, Peter and Robert. So this is a, basically a conversation related to tech support or technical support. So here we have Peter, good morning. This is Peter from tech tech support. How can I help you? And he says, mm, hi, Peter, uh, como Dr. Octopus, okay. Uh, this is Robert, I'm calling, I'm calling from the human resources department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. 
What, what is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. So if you notice, sim, este es un verbo que es parece, ¿verdad? No parece trabajar. Uh, I'm sorry, funcionar. Work is trabajar, pero also is funcionar. Por ejemplo, si alguien les pregunta, does it work? Does your computer work? No significa que si tu computadora trabaja, significa que si tu computadora funciona, ¿ok? Sim, sim es parece, ¿ok? So, I will need some of this, uh, some of you pronouncing. And the first person I would like to hear is Kevin. So, Kevin, you go here and, and this part, Diego, please. Okay, Kevin. Okay, good morning. This is Peter from Support. How can I help you? Thank you. Okay, Diego. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Okay. Kevin, please continue. What is it, Robert? Okay, Diego, please. It doesn't seem to work. Okay, Kevin. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, perfect. Thank you. We're going to have like uh, this um, uh, base, this base for uh, doing a conversation. Ya vamos a hacer una conversación más adelante. Related to tech support, but uh, it can be related to computers. It can be related to some machines that we have contact with. So first I need some screenshots, please. Voy a necesitar que le tomen captura, please. Okay, we're having like a, a brief practice. Vamos a tener una práctica bien breve. I'm going to create uh, the couples, well, the, the, the teams, the pairs. So just give me one, a couple of seconds. Okay, see you. One zero over. Is that saying I see to work? I see. Let me ask you some question. 
Ok, otra vez. <coughs> Good morning, dear Peter, for this support. How can I help you? <coughs> Hi, Peter. Is Peter from this support? How can I help you? Yo creo que sí, let me ask. I see, let me ask you some question. Uh -huh. The is from the Human Resources Department. Vaya, empiezo. Uh -huh. Empiezo de nuevo. Ok, me parece que solo ustedes han terminado. Lo que pasa no, es que se, se, se me desconectó ahí. Eh. Ah, sí. really? Sí. sí. Ok, pero yo lo hice. ¿Ya lo hicieron? Eh. Sí. Ok. So we're going to wait a little bit. Yes, there are some. Here we have some, some other. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. Now, we're going to do like a similar conversation, but later. Más adelante la vamos a hacer, okay? So, um, uh, remember, I'm calling. This is, porque escuché que algunos de ustedes decían this, the is. This is Robert. This is Caro. This is Andrea, okay? Cuando ustedes dicen this is, eh, se refieren como que mm, no decimos esta es Andrea, no decimos soy Andrea. Aunque eh, literalmente en español se, se escucharía extraño, no, en inglés es bien común. This is Carmen. Hello, this is Carmen speaking. ¿Verdad? This, this is Marlon. I'm calling from. Sure. Say, oh, yes. ¿Y por qué no se dice I'm Carmen? You can say it. Pueden decirlo. Hi, Peter. I'm, I'm, I'm Carmen. And I'm calling from Human Resources. But this is. Pero este, este this is, es más común. Ya. Yeah. Es como si tú, tú hablas en EP, eh, por teléfono, buenas tardes, eh, me, me comunica con, con Diana, por ejemplo. Me puede comunicar con Diana, es diferente de este, pase a Diana. Ya, entonces una cuestión así como que un poco más eh, polite, como, es como una, es como la vieja confiable para introduction. Ok, so you can say this is. Ok, now here we have uh, some other, here we have a uh, uh, some of the, the questions. What is the what is the issue? The issue is problema. Issue. Issue. What is the issue with Robert's computer? Okay. The problem with Robert's computer. Okay. Um, so if I ask, for example, Andrea, what do you think, Andrea? What is uh, the issue with Robert's computer? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to work. Yes, y que te recuerdas qué significa sim? No me acuerdo. Busca tu corazón, busca tu corazón. Sim, sim, sim. No, a teacher, no me acuerdo. Sim, parecer, ok, parecer. Ok. So, here we have, how does he report the problem? Ok, Marlon, eh, how does he report the problem? Um, uh, Robert, uh, no, perdón. Peter, Peter, no, Robert, Robert called, uh, uh, called uh, the, the tech support yes. department. Yes, 
Robert called tech support. So that's it. Uh, así, así lo, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Lo, lo reporta, ¿ok? Good. Thanks, Marlon. Eh, que andas en la jugada. Ok. There are eight. Check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. Talk to two colleagues and compare your tables. We're not going to do this. Esto no lo vamos a hacer solo. Aquí tenemos. Uh, one, one by one, help me reading. Me ayuda. Dianita, me ayudas. Diana and then Carmen. New software. Okay, uh, Carmen, then Susie. No internet access. Internet access. Uh, Andreita or Susie. No. A virus. A virus, yes. Uh, Susie, and then Diego. Mm, delete file. Deleted or deleted. Deleted. Mm -hmm. Deleted file. files. Ajá. Esto cae mal cuando se te borran archivos. This is a really disgusting. So deleted. Y como una eh, clave. Después de la T, eh, cuando sean verbos regulares y lleva ED, se va a escuchar como con ID. Limited. 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 Ok. Deleted. Ok. Mm -hmm. Eso es. Um, ok. Diego. Ok. Paper stuck in printer. Paper stuck in printer. Cuando se atasca. Se trabe ese mm -hmm. papel en la impresora. No dejen que la impresora vuela sus miedos porque más se va a tardar. Ok, Carito, next, USB. Carito, and then Mercy. USB port out of order. Out of order, ok. Mercy, and then we're having Kelly. Fanny. Fanny, noisy in the CPU. CPU, ok, good. And the last one. Frozen screen. Mm -hmm. Frozen screen. No es un frozen que se lo van a comer, no. no. La computadora, <laughs> la pantalla de screen. It's like frozen. You can't do anything. So uh, here we have new software. Okay, no internet access. A virus deleted. Paper stuck in printer. USB ports out the order. Funny noise in the CPU. Cuando hay sonidos extraños o graciosos. Frozen screen. Okay, uh, Susie, what's the worst? ¿Cuál crees que es el peor de todos eso? What's the worst for you? For me, paper stop in printer. Okay, paper stop in printer. Especially when you're in a, in a rush, cuando estás apurado. Okay, yeah, that's a, that, that happens. Okay, uh, Kevin, your turn. And then Christian, what's the worst for you, el peor? Teacher no logré escuchar. Ok, no problem. Cristian, what's the worst? Yeah. Diana. No internet access. No internet access. That's a big problem. Ok, Diana. Deleted files. Deleted files. Yes. And specific when you have to send a report. I don't know if you have had that experience. But in my case, I had some, some files and suddenly they were out of, of there because uh, the tech support, well, the, some the engineers were like cleaning, doing something, team. So that, that happens, that happens. So there are some options. How or why we call tech support to help us solve this problem, para ayudarnos a resolver esos problems, okay? So here we have also ways to report a problem. We can say, uh, formas para reportar un problema. I would like to report a problem. Me gustaría reportar un problema. It doesn't, uh, it does not seem to work. I would like to report an issue. Issue, it's similar to problem. Okay, it's synonym. It makes a strange, funny noise. Okay, hace un sonido extraño o gracioso. I have trouble with trouble is similar to issue and problem. They are like synonyms, so como synonyms. I have trouble with, it does not turn on. So I need you to think of a machine that you work with. Quiero que piensen en una máquina eh, con la que ustedes trabajan. It can be a printer, it can be a, yes, a, a computer. I don't know if you have to have access to computers, okay? It is okay, but think about it. 
piensen en, en algo. If you work with, yeah, maybe keyboards, puede ser el teclado, the mouse. Okay, think about one. Eh, así que podemos decir, I would like to report a problem. The printer doesn't not seem to work. En lugar de it, decimos the printer, la impresora. Okay. Um, I don't know, in, in your cases, tell me just if you have contact with any kind of gadget or machine. Trabajan ustedes con algún tipo de máquina. Okay, in your case, Christian, just computer. Eh, bueno, ya sería lo de la pregunta, ¿verdad? No, no, just tell me. No. The, the machine or device, ¿con qué trabajas? ¿Solo con computadora trabajas? ¿Trabajas con printer? Eh, con horas? No, solo computer. Ok, computer, nice. Diego, you computers or uh, headphones, cell phones? Yes, just computer and my headphones all the okay. time. I, my headset is uh, yes. my, my main tool. Yes, of course. Yeah, that, that is something that you have to do it. Okay. All the time. All the time. And are, there, uh, are they new? No. Or uh, no. You have time. No. You have time. With that. Yes, I, I have some time using this. Okay, good. What about Marlon? Uh, of course, I work with the computer. I work, I work with my cell phone, uh, with the printer. Uh, that's the, 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 uh, main, the main tools. The main tools. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Andrea. Uh, I don't use computer, but ser cuando utilizamos el elevador o el ascensor, no sé cómo se dice. Yeah, elevator. You can say elevator. Cuando no funciona. Yes, it doesn't work. The elevator. Okay, that that happens. A good good point. And what about Susie? Susie, you have one, right? I have trouble with my mark, price marker. Price it, marker, que es marcadora de precios. Right. So, yeah. That, yeah. So. It, it makes, oh, sería, perdón, price marker makes a strange uh, noise. Noise, okay. Or maybe it doesn't work, o a veces no funciona, se te queda ahí. Okay. En blanco, okay, thank you. What about Mercy? I uh, use computer in com my workplace. Computer. Okay, you use computer oh, at work. Perfect. What about Carmen? I use computers, cell phone, and printer. Okay, perfect. And also, we can say internet. Okay. Uh, for example, I have trouble with the modem, right? Or the router. It doesn't turn on, don't funciona. Can you imagine Diego working without the internet? I don't think so. Right, Me neither. Friend? No. Can you imagine no. Marlon, Carmen working without the internet? Mm. No, teacher, we can't. And also, Sometimes it happens in, in our office. Yes. And, and we have to be only waiting. It, 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 Almost doing nothing. Hey, you can't advance. You can't do anything. Okay, you can <laughs> yes. do some uh, small things, but remember, all of you need internet. All of you. Yes. You to contact yes. with your bosses or, or to yeah to send some information, receive information. Some of you uh, need uh, more internet than others, right? But all of us, almost others, all of us uh, use it, right? So that's one one of the main uh, tool, okay. And um, so uh, we're going to to work with with this uh, later, right? So just remember, I would like to report a problem. Entonces, cuando queremos reportar un problema, podemos decir, por ejemplo, en lugar del it, aquí va el item. Puede ser the printer, como dice Susi, price marker. Puede ser elevator, como dice Andrea, the printer, the internet does not turn on, or the router does not turn on, okay? So there are a, a lot of things there, maybe the mouse, okay? The 
keyboard, keyboards, que es el teclado, okay? In the case, uh, there are some tools, hay herramientas, there are tools that are like very important, okay? At the word. So, we're going to continue, porque después vamos a utilizar eso, okay? Okay, should uh, legal driving age be 21? Why? Requirements. And in this case, we're going to listen to Andrea. Are you ready, Andreita? Yes, I'm ready. Please, go ahead. And then Mercy. It's not necessary. Uh, an adult and mature person will have the ability to drive properly. People under the age of 18 could drive with the supervision of a responsible adult. However, there are adults who do not respect traffic laws. They even consume alcoholic beverage. Beverages. Beverages. Being aware that driving is a very big responsibility. That's it. Uh, thank you for remembering, remembering that. There are I don't know who have more accidents, men or women. I consider that men usually don't make good decisions because men are very common to consume or drink alcohol or drugs or they have a lot of accidents. Even men criticize women. Los hombres critican las mujeres normalmente cuando las que manejan, right? So that is something that happens. And as uh, they, they are like, they're supposed to be legal with the license, adults have more accidents than, uh, than young, than the, the teenagers or, or something like that. Como que los adultos tienen más accidentes también porque los jóvenes. Even we are supposed uh, to make good decisions. Se supone que debemos tomar buenas decisiones como adultos. But no, even if you notice, there are always one or two accidents per day, each day. Cada día, right? So that's it. Okay, we continue with Mercy, and after Mercy, we're having Kevin. I think so. At that age, there is more awareness and care when driving. At all, not all cases are the same. Okay, not all the cases are the same. Thank you. Okay, Kevin and Marlon. I think not. Of course, you have to be a considerable age to do it, but of course, knowing the regulation. Okay. And knowing uh, what is what are the effects, the causes, right? You have to be aware. Deben de estar consciente. Cuando decimos aware, be aware, estar consciente. Be aware of something or ser consciente de. Uh, be aware of the responsibility, especially if you are driving and you uh, there are kids with you. Si hay niños contigo. If there are some uh, elders, si hay con, con, con que va manejando, there is a big responsibility. Okay, uh, Marlon, and then we're going with Helen. Okay. Uh, uh, saying that my, my classmate, I don't think it, it is... Uh, necess necessary. I think um, driving is a plus for for working life. Um, and guys can be productive driving. Um, furthermore, uh, I think that 18 years is a good age to have your 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 license, teacher. Okay. Yes. And even there is a plus. Es como un punto más. If you drive. When you go to an interview, for example, if you, there are some cases in which you have to drive, to supervise, to take products or whatever, right? Or an Maybe emergency. you are good in, in, your, in your job, but if you can't drive, uh, you will need a, ¿cómo sería un chofer? A driver, yes. A driver. A driver. <laughs> yes. And the, the enterprise uh, wants to save it's money, a, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, so quiere, they, ahorrar, ¿cómo se dice? Ellos quieren ahorrar. Save, yeah, save money. Save, save money. They, they always want to save money, right? Especially right. In, in, in that uh, situation. So thank you, Marlo. That's uh, a good opinion. You're welcome. Helen, and then we're going with 
Carito. It should be a dream that LG we have a little more prudence in some people. <clears throat> okay, it is important to have prudence yeah, in this area. Thank you, Helen. Okay, Carito, and then we have Claudia. Um, of course, it is the appropriate age at which the person should should drive because they already have man maturity to face responsibility. Okay, thank you. Very nice, Claudia. I think it should be from eighteen years old, as it is something very useful today. Okay. Yes, it's useful. As Marlon said, that is like another characteristic that people should know, even, right? Okay. Uh, similar to use computers, uh, to, to, to use technology, of course. So now, what are the common issues you have in your workplace? Write down the most common problems uh, you have with the equipment in your office. Where the problems you and your classmates have in common in the middle section. So first, at least write three problems, three problems that you may have with your computer, with the internet, with the price marker, with the mouse, with the key uh, keyboards. So write three. I'm going to present you this okay and uh, maybe it it can or it may may uh, what well, it can make funny or strange noise uh, does not turn on es que no enciende okay turn on enciende. so it doesn't turn on it doesn't seem to work think about it three uh, three aspects about a problem in your working area or maybe a car a car doesn't uh, turn on the engine, verdad? El motor, I don't know. Think about uh, the tools, the gadgets, or yes, the, the, the things that you use during a week, and maybe you can have problems with the, the, the phone, okay? So three, I'm going to ask you in a moment. Ok, um, Carito me pregunta, ¿cómo se pregunta cuando se traba? <ríe> Pero no yo, ¿verdad? Ok, stock. Um, no tengo que escuchar una canción de YouTube que se llama Stuck in a Moment. Es bien común, te lo recomiendo. Una balada del rock la pasaron. Stuck in a Moment. So, stuck es stuck, stuck, stuck. Quedarte atrapado, quedarte algo, pues. Ahí sin movimiento. Ya, Carito. Trabado. Okay. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Sí, ¿qué, ¿Qué lo quería hacer? Dígale momento? que eso tiene mucho significado, teacher. Yes, I know. I'm aware of that. Soy consciente de eso. Bueno. Es que le pregunté porque yo lo, o sea, lo tradujo. Lock. No sé si así sería. Es que lock. Uh, es, es, se refiere a cerradura. 
No, no, no. Lock. Lock. Con lock. O, con o. Lock. Así. Ajá. Es cerradura. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. Ok. So that's it. Muy bien. Ya nos vamos a trabajar. So tell me one of the problems. And uh, maybe we can start with Diego, right? And then uh, Andreita. Tell me a problem that maybe you may have uh, related to your okay, work. Okay, teacher. The most common issues when I'm working are uh, the VPN got unplugged. Mm -hmm. And the second one is my headset doesn't work well. Wow. And the third. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, a question. In the case of the headset, do you have some others? In uh, in the case that uh, one it doesn't work, do you have another pair? Okay, I can hear you, Diego. Really? Okay. Now, yes. Okay, I have I have in troubles by the rain. Okay. Yes, because of the internet. No, the question is, do you have another pair of headset? No, I don't. Okay, so in case shadow bite the, the headset, so you're going to be out of line. You know what she did at one time. Wow, yes. And I, I have to fix I have to fix the, the cable with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with some tape. With, you know, with, with this, tape, yeah. But, uh, tape. but now it works, right? Yeah, no, I, I reported in in the company change it okay good yeah that happened yeah they are like very uh rascals okay thanks Richard, you you don't have an idea she bite my my headset cable my keyboard my wow. charges from, from the cell phone okay so <laughs> you have to be very patient yes yes i have to be patient because it's my daughter you know yes yes of course uh, what about Andrea then Marlo? Um, the first elevator elevator makes a strange. Uh, second printer note have ink ink tinta. Yes, ink. Mm -hmm. the, uh -huh. Oh, the and, Okay, continue, continue, please. Mm -hmm. And cell phone does not turn on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Cuando decimos run out, es que se acaba. Okay. Run out of ink. The printer run out of ink. Cuando se, se termina algo. Okay. Oh, the printer run out of paper. Or in the bathroom. Well, but in any case, run out is cuando se les acaba algo. Okay. And Marlon. And of then course, Carmen. Uh, uh, most common problems in my office is uh, when the printer doesn't work, teacher. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, we, that is a common problem. And if my computer is disconnected of the internet. Okay. That's another common a problem. Big, and a big one. Yes, a big and a problem. big one, just like the printer, when the printer doesn't work, yes. it happens uh, too, much, too much time. Okay, very often. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yes, it's it's a, a usually a usual problem, um, and it happens especially when I have to 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 go uh, out or to a project when I am when you need rush. when you when you need the most <laughs> that happens. Yes, it, yes, it's always uh, happening. I don't know why, but it happens. <laughs> yes, <laughs> neither me, neither neither do I ah, error. Neither do I. Neither do I. And. Um, that the, the the other problem is when the printer run out, like you said before, run out of ink, run out of ink, or yes, or run out of paper, of too. paper, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's some of the common problems. Common problem. Thank you. Thank you, man. Okay, Carmen, and then we go with Susie. Okay, number one, my internet it does not seem to work. Mm -hmm. Number two, the printer has no connection. Wow. In number three, the emails do not reach me. Okay, thank you. And Susie, then Diana. Okay, number one. Uh, teacher, ¿cómo es? ¿Es teléfono empresarial? Yes, eh, 
enterprise form or enterprise number. Okay. Uh, with my enterprise number, it does not turn on. And number two, with my price maker, uh, it does it does not seem to work. Uh, number three, with um, the printer, eh, se traba. Perdón, como puso lo del ejemplo de stock. stock. Okay, stock. stock. It make a, a strange noise. Make strange noise. Okay, thank you, Diana. And then we go with Mercy. Okay, the first and uh, when the price market stop with the bullet, bullet, uh, viñetas, mm -hmm. bullets. Second, the elevator no turn on. And, and the internet not seem to work. Okay, thank you. Merci, and then Carito. Okay, I usually have problems to printing because we all use the same printer machine. Mm -hmm. My computer is very slow. Y number three, the energy goes up. No sé si así sería. Goes out. Ajá, la energía se va normalmente, normally. Okay. Normally, okay. Ajá, and I had to carry to point of sale. Okay, thank you. And Carito and then Kevin. Okay, and the first, uh, the price markers stuck in the moment. And uh, second, the paper stuck in the printer. It, in finish, the cell phone no inter access. Okay, thank you, thank you. Perfect. And Kevin and then Carla. The most common problem, my worries when the paper is stuck in the front printer. The other problem is when the internet doesn't work. Here is when there is no light, no CC. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the last one, I, I didn't get the idea. The third is mm -hmm. when there is no light. Ah, there's no light, no electricity. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Carla and Christian. Um when the internet fine and two then when the cell cell phone five and when the price market five okay thank you christian and then helen the first uh, problem in the office is no internet internet uh, access uh, for printer. Mm -hmm. The second is update programs and a slow, a slow internet. Ah, slow internet, yes. That's another, and that's a big problem. A really big problem, okay? Thank you. And uh, we have Helen, right? Helen and Alex. I have problem with the keyboard. Mm -hmm. uh, es lo inter y sistema operativo. Operation system. Operation system. Okay, thank you. Alex? Uh, the keyboard sometimes doesn't work. Mm -hmm. The internet is slow. Okay. Solo dos. Okay, nice. And we have Claudia. Creo que tú me hace falta. Sufficient. Okay, please. The first, it does not turn on computer. The paper, uh, the paper is stopped in the printer. In number three, the the copier room of of color ink. Okay. Thanks. Yes, that, that, that is very common, color ink. Okay, thank you very much. Now we're going to uh, have a, a, another activity, reporting a problem to tech uh, support, okay, over the phone. 
So we're going to work with a classmate, add the name or piece of equipment in your workplace using the diagram on page for one, eh, la conversación pasada. Practice reporting one of these problems. Bien, vamos a reportar un problema. Cualquiera de esos ustedes lo eligen. Okay, so we're going to have like this. Good morning or good evening, good afternoon. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Ese es el, el agente, ¿verdad? El agente. And Robert. Hi, uh, Peter. This is Robert. I'm calling from Human Resources Department. Pueden ponerle Sales Department, Departamento de Ventas, um, Monitor uh, or Manager. Okay. And you can say, I like to report a problem with my computer. Y en lugar de eso, le pueden poner Price, mar uh, price Marker, le pueden poner uh, Computer, Printer, Internet. What's, what is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. Le pueden poner, it doesn't turn on or it makes a strange noise. Y así como, really strange. Y luego, I see, let me ask you some questions. Okay. Así que haríamos prácticamente una conversación similar. La, necesito que lo hagan. I need you to do it like in three minutes. La hacen en tres minutos y la practican porque todos lo van a hacer. Okay. Y necesito un poquito más de fluidez, un poquito más de rapidez. Okay. So we're going to do it. I know that you already have this ya tienen esta conversation y in any case uh, pueden utilizar cualquiera de estas verdad si están hablando de computadoras USB ports out of order podemos poner también a uh, paper stock in the in the printer okay deleted files frozen screen pueden utilizar cualquiera de estas si ustedes gustan or the ones that you have it, o las que ustedes ya tienen okay and as well you can use one of these issues pueden de esa manera también reportar un problema o problemas pues comunes. Ok, I'm going to give you like three minutes, le voy a dar como tres minutos cada uno y pues después comenzamos con eso. Ok, so let's do it. I don't know if you have any questions, si tiene alguna pregunta. I guess no, me parece que no, está bastante práctico. Ok, so uh, let's do it. See you in a couple of seconds. Hi. Hi. Sí, verdad. Hi, Carla. Ajá. Uh -huh. is... No podemos um... dejar ahí solo como Hi, Carla. Ahí le diría yo I call him from the department sales de venta. Department de o de marketing, no sé. Ajá, de marketing. ¿Cómo sería de marketing así, verdad, teacher? Ajá, marketing department. Sencillo, marketing department. Entonces, sí, vaya, sería, mm -hmm. hi, Carla. I am calling from the marketing department. Acá, marketing. exacto. Mm -hmm. The marketing department. Department. Mm -hmm. Podría ser también would like to report a, pro a problem, ¿verdad? O igual. Dicho. Cabal, puede ser I would like to report a problem. Y ahí sí, le ponen con qué. Con, with my computer, with the internet, mm -hmm. with the printer, con lo que ustedes quieran. Pero era wall. ¿Cómo se dice wall? I'd like. Aquí es I'd I, like. Ah, aquí sería I'd like. Uh -huh. Vaya, 
Okay, lo voy a poner. I like to report a problem. Mm -hmm. A problem. Mm -hmm. Why my computer? Bueno, en mi casa lo que más me falla. My computer. Hasta ahí. Luego va usted otra vez, Carla. Ajá, Carla, tú dirías esto. ¿ve? What is it, Mercy? ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. What is it, Mercy? What is Mercy? Mercy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y aquí sería... My computing, pero ver, is very, es lenta, ¿cómo es la venta? Es slow. Slow, slow. Lenta. Ahí, ¿cómo sería? My, my computing, my computing is very slow. Mm -hmm. Mi computadora es muy lenta, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, it's slow. It's very slow, es muy lenta. No sé por qué. Te puedo poner. Okay. Uh -huh. Está bien terminado, ¿verdad? Ok, y usted termina. I see. It. I see, it, let me. Ajá. Uh -huh. Este termina con I see. I see. Le... <risa> ¿Qué pasó, mi gente? ¿Están de rebeldes? Ya estufas, teacher. Ok, you're done. That is so yes, we're done. Ok, este equipo está bueno. Sí, se anda con todo. No, hombre, ya veo que bueno. Y son honestos. No, si sí, ni había ingresado al. al... Al grupo cuando me dijo, no, ya lo tengo. Ah, no, es que, es que <risa> la sucia es la que daba copia y cobraba. ¿Vas, de verdad que créanme que en mi clase de inglés yo le daba copia y le cobraba lo mismo. Mira, qué malvada mujer la de... Espérense, qué pobre Marlon está solo en esta vida. Ya vengo. ¿Qué hay, Marlon? ¿Qué está mal? ¿Y qué es tu... ¿Qué es tu your ¿Tu classmate, tu compañero? I can hear you. Me parece que se le habían acabado los datos. Kevin, creo que. Pero ya, ya, ya me escribió por WhatsApp y ahí estamos armando la conversación. Ah, ok, ok. Do you need more time? Necesito un poco más de tiempo. Sí, eh, y si, si puede, teacher, lo conecta ahí nuevamente, ¿verdad? Para, para conversar. La, lo que pasa es que no me la... aparece, no me aparece el tipo acá. <risa> Saber que es este tipo. Vaya, ya veo. Ok. Si aparece, ahí lo conecto. Ok. Bueno. Excelente. No, algo porque sí. Un poquito, quizá. Ah, ya no, porque la verdad que eso es, es algo sencillo, considero. Porque cuando usas el Can I Borrow, es como cuando cuando le decís a alguien acá en español y puedo tomar prestado. Uh -huh. Y cuando usas el can you lend me, es como que le decís, me puedes prestar. ¿Verdad, teacher? Something ah, like that. I think. That's it, that's it. Y can you lend me? Mm -hmm. Can you lend me your, mm -hmm. your car, your dog? Sure, <laughs> take it. <laughs> your husband, your wife, yeah. <laughs> My house. Tampoco, tampoco. La ira, la ira. No, eso sí se ve que bien celosa. Mm. Tóxica por él. <laughs> okay, so here we have my friends. I, I think you're done. You can get now. So I would like to hear some of your sexy voices. So who's going to be the first one? Que va a ser el primero? Creo que Dianita quizá lo va a poner. Que Diana la veo así con una energía. Necesita liberar esa energía. Aquí te. Era de ir a dormir. Solo te veo aquí y, y siento que está tenso. Mira a ver esto acá. Vamos, Dianita. Ok. Um, da con... Sí, ahí pueden ver la habilidad y todo eso, porque lo están explicando. Dale. Pero comparta la pantalla. Ah, ok, ok, ok. I'm sorry. 
Go ahead. Okay. Good morning. This is... Ah, sí, mi compañera es Carmen, por cierto. <laughs> yeah, I know, yes, I know. <laughs> But, okay, good morning. This is Diana from Tech Support. How can, how can I help you? Hi, Diana, this is Carmen. I'm calling from the corporate department. I like to report a problem with my internet. What is it, Carmen? I don't internet access. I see. Let me ask, ask you uh, some questions. Okay. Perfect. Good. So, sería the internet. Uh, ¿Cómo fue eso, Carmen? I don't have internet access. Yes, sir. It doesn't. Ah, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Internet access. Ah, uh, it doesn't have. Okay. Or uh, I don't have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. Good, Diana. Perfect. Okay, Susie and Diego, Bye. I know that they're, they are more than ready. They have talked okay. about different topics as well. Right? Demole. Okay. Demole. Good, morning. Good morning. This is Susie from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Susie. This is Diego from Recovery Department. I, I like to report a problem with my headset. What is it, Diego? What is I, it, Diego? Okay. I can hear anything, Susie. I see. Let me ask you. Let me ask you some question. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Perfect. Good. Ya tenían bien. Se escuchó como acto cívico. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you. You're welcome, Andreita. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Please. Um. Christian? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. This is Andrea from the Teach Support. Who can Hi. I help you? Hi, Andrea. This is Christian. I am calling from the skills department. It like to report a problem by, with, with my computer. Was it it, Christian? It new need new software and a new antivirus. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Perfect. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea and Christian. So, aquí, uh, Christian sería, I'd like. Okay, I'd like. Okay, perfect. What about perfect. Carito? Okay. Go ahead. Con Claudia? Mm -hmm. Okay, good evening. It is Carolina from the Tech Support. How I can help you? Uh -huh. Hi, Carolina. This is Claudia. I am calling from the reception. It like to report a problem with my with my printer. What is this, Claudia? It is the printing room of the of coloring. I see. Let me ask you some question. Hey, excellent, excellent. Solo que acá eh, me están diciendo it like, yes, I'd like, okay? I'd I. like, I'd, I'd. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, what about Mercy? Con Carla. Please. Okay. Good morning. This is Carla from Frontage Support. How can I help you? Hi, Carla. I am Colleen from the marketing department. I like to report a problem. Why my computer? What is it mercy? My computer is very slow, Carla. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Questions. Excellent. Thank you. Solo recuerda, Mercy, computer. 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 Ajá, menos que fuese de Inglaterra, dirías computer. Pero si no, computer. Okay. okay. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Dan. Hey, Marlon. The special, the dream team. 
Teacher. Seguí tu corazón, Kevin. Relájate. Eh, no me lo va a caer. Pero bueno, se me pues no te lo creo. Se me, olvidó, se me volvió a desconectar. De hecho, hasta ahorita me volvió a agarrar y lo estábamos haciendo con Marlon así rapidito, pero no nos alcanzó el tiempo. Démosle ahí lo que tengamos. Sí, hombre, miren, mm. miren, ustedes paren de sufrir, hombre. Solo eh, <risa> debes de cambiar los nombres acá y esta parte, ¿ves? Y de ahí, relax. Ok, tal cual está en la imagen. Sí. Ah, okay. Démosle. Dale, comienza. Ok, Dale. This is Kevin from TG Support. How can I help you? Hi, Kevin. This is Marlon. Uh, I'm calling from the sales department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? Marlon. <laughs> uh, I have no connection to internet, so I can print and I and send or send emails. I see. Let me ask you some question. Yeah, okay. that's it. Good, good one. Thank you, Javen. La hicieron. ¿Quién me falta? Christian, me parece, ¿verdad? Y Alex, o oh, no sé si me falta. Ya yeah, pasé. Ah, pues Alex me falta, ¿verdad? O Helen. Yes. Yeah. Okay, please. Okay. Okay. Good, good afternoon. This is Alex. From the support, how can I help you? Hi, Alex. It is Helen. I am colleague of the part of marketing. I have problem with my laptop. What is it, Helen? I have problem with the keyboard. In a moment, I tell you. Thanks. Okay, excellent. Very good done. Now we're going to listen to uh, something. Vamos a escuchar algo. Okay, so it's uh, time to listen in. This is a, a 30, what? 30, 43 second speech, ¿verdad? Un discurso pequeñito de 43 segundos, así que tratemos de identificar algunas palabras. Esta es una voz diferente, creo que no han escuchado esta voz. Entonces yo trato casi siempre de, de estar, pues, uh, to ask some of my friends to send me some, some audios, okay? So let's listen. Success. Success can be viewed with as the measure of satisfaction and happiness you have in the major part of your life. Success doesn't have any course of events. For example, it doesn't make a difference in what you were in the past. It is important what you are in the present. The best approach to success is anything but a straight one. It has lots of exciting events in the road and in some cases, you turn in the life of a person. To get successful in your life, most importantly, you need to set your objectives, those things which will help you in making progress. Okay, let's listen again. Kevin, lo escuchaste bien? Could you hear it well? Okay, let's listen again. Success. Success can be viewed with as the measure of satisfaction and happiness you have in the major part of your life. Success doesn't have any course of events. For example, it doesn't make a difference in what you were in the past. It is important what you are in the present. The best approach to success is anything but a straight one. It has lots of exciting events in the road and in some cases, you turn in the life of a person. To get successful in your life, most importantly, you need to set your objectives, those things which will help you in making progress. Okay, so let's see. What can you tell me about uh, what you heard? And we're going to start with Diana. Okay, Dianita? Okay, and um, topic, mm, I believe, that is. success is success and I remember word uh, satisfaction and happiness uh, for example 
make a difference in what you in work, creo que decía. Some case, your turn in the person. No sé si era eso. Um, most importantly, uh, importantly, and making progress. Wow, de Anita, ya ves. Cuando tienes sueño, te pones más activa. Thanks. And what about if we listen to Andrea and then Diego? Okay. Success and happiness populate and mention, for, ex for example, anything, some cases you need making problems, make a difference. Best, uh, no sé si era brush, best a brush, algo así, mm -hmm. in your life and those things. Mm, le, le entendieron bastante este audio, ¿verdad? Captaron, ¿verdad? Que, es que creo que estaba mejor grabado también, ¿verdad? Tiene mucho que ver eso, está más nítido. Ok, Diego, tell me, and then Carmen. Ok, teacher. I have some problems with, with my listening, but I can remember... Yeah, the the main thing here is the main idea is about uh, success or success. Success. Mm -hmm. And I can remember words like uh, approach, like I heard something about it doesn't a difference in between the, the past or the present. And, no, I can't remember anymore. Okay, yes. It's an approach. It's a new word. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it later. Thank you. Carmen, okay. and then we go with Marlon. Okay. Uh, success. Uh, I mentioned your life, for example, you are in the present, any course, anything, some case in the road to, get, to see making progress. You see, making progress. Perfect, Carmen. Diego, uh, Marlon, and then we're going with Susi. Um, uh, same, all my partners, success, uh, satisfaction and happiness. Um, I I think I listened to some, something like... Uh, it is important what you are in the present, not what you were in the past, I think. Uh, something like this. Okay. The main yes. idea is about the success. Mm -hmm. That's clear. Perfect. The positive philosophical, Marlon. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> Susie, la seriedad de Susana. Hmm. Success, happiness, any curve. Uh, anything, some case, most important, most uh, important, make it problems of your life, for example, a lot of in need, and need. Okay, good, good. Creo que en este captaron bastantes palabras. So here we have success. Aunque okay, el audio dice success, dice ella, ¿verdad? Pero es success. So you can see viewed, um, Approach es un acercamiento, ¿verdad? Approach es a aproximarse, acercarse. Uh -huh. um, straight, ¿saben qué? Directo. Uh -huh. So we're going to, importantly, es un adverbio. Important es un, es un adjetivo importante, pero importantly es lo que les digo, ¿verdad? Que L, la L y la Y, ¿ok? So I think you can, I think you have understand. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You have under, understood this. Creo que ya han entendido, han captado bastante. So let's say we're going to listen again. Vamos a escucharlo de nuevo. Success. Success can be viewed as the measure of satisfaction and happiness you have in the major part of your life. Success doesn't have any course of events. For example, it doesn't make a difference in what you were in the past. It is important what you are in the present. The best approach to success is anything but a straight one. It has lots of exciting events in the road, and in some cases, you turn in the life of a person. To get successful in your life, most importantly, you need to set your objectives, those things which will help you in making progress. 
Okay, so uh, if you notice, um, measure significa medida. Es muy importante. Measure, medida. Okay, uh, o medir. So there are some main ideas, as Marlon says. Uh, it doesn't make a difference in what you were in the past. It is important what you are in the present. So that's the point. You can have success even if you were a loser in the past. O sea, aunque fuimos, fuiste perdedor del pasado, no importa. Puede ser, puedes generar eh, o puedes tener éxito. But if you have your objectives, ¿ok? Aquí dice, ¿verdad? To get successful in your life, most importantly, you need to set. Set es, eh, pues, establecer, este, es tener claro, ¿ok? Your objectives, those things which help you in making progress, hacer en llegar al progreso. So that's important to success. Okay, thank you. Creo que sí, bueno, también es importante. No sé si lo han notado, pero poco a poco van captando más palabras. And I like that. Uh, I like to know that. Okay, so uh, should parents be allowed to choose their baby's gender? I know that this is like a very weird question. Es una pregunta bien extraña. Pero ya estamos entrando, we're getting into a very strange questions, a preguntas extrañas, pero no le puede preguntar cosas feas tampoco. But this is like something that maybe we don't talk about it. Even I didn't have like this question in my mind before, but let's listen to some of you. So what about um, Kevin and then Mercy? Tell me what's your opinion about this? Okay, no problem. Mercy, and then we're going with Carla. Okay, Carla, please. Okay. Okay, Mercy. In my opinion, not. The sex of the baby must be respected. Seeing is, it is in the belly. They are a blessing of God. The important thing is that they are or Healthy. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's, it is like a surprise, like, and, and you don't know how, that's like a good feeling, es como un buen sentimiento, ¿verdad? Eso te refieres, since the baby is in the belly, si, mientras, desde que está en el vientre, dice Mercy, okay, okay, good point, Mercy, we we'll go now with Carla, and then Claudia. Uh, my opinion to not expect the surprise that and generate will be the baby. Okay, it, expect, wait, the surprise, and then see, okay, what's hap what happens. Okay, thank you, Carla. Okay, uh, Claudia, and after Claudia, we're having Carito. Teacher, the one minute más. Okay, uh, Carito, and then we're having Susie. Okay. Scientifically proven the father shows the sex of the baby. But hmm. from the, my opinion of you, is the God who shows the sex of the baby. Okay. Like scientists say, because some more researches, that the man is the one that provides like a, a gen, a gen X, I guess. Right, Gen X and Gen Y. And that defines the gender of the baby. Eso que eh, 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 define, ¿verdad? Uh, lo del bebé. But uh, even it is surprised, so Carito says that no, it is better no to manipulate that, right? Not to choose. Okay, good. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, so see. And then Carmen. Okay. In my point of view, um, religion. Religiously speaking, I believe that our children are a blessing and God is the only one who must decide of the gender, 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 gender of the baby. Saying as the as this as they say, our children are only learned uh, to teach who's to love. Therefore, it it would not have to matter the gender. Okay, it doesn't matter the gender. So let's wait. Eso se refiere a su ciudad. Hay que esperar and not to manipulate and think about this 
things. So, una cosita, Susi. God, God, ok. Cuando dice, oh my God. Porque si, si dice good, es bueno. Ok. So, God, oh my God. Ok, Susi. Thank you for your opinion. I like that. And Carmen, after Carmen, we're, ha we're having Christian. Ok. No, I take away the emotion and the important the thing is that they are born healthy. I think those things depend on God. Okay, so it is better to wait, okay? And it's like a surprise. Thank you, Carmen. Christian, and we're going with um, Andrea. My opinion is not. Uh, let it be design, designing a natural who design the gender, uh, no science. O ciencia, no, sé cómo um, se no, dice. no, science. Yes, okay. Thank you, Christian. Okay, Andrea. Okay. Well, I think that first you should know what is the procedure to follow to choose uh, the gender possible, if it is safe or not. Deciding the gender of the baby must be a couple decision and both must agree. I will not agree because parents love uh, their ch children regardless of gender. Okay, okay. Good point, uh, Andrea. Thank you. Thank you. So um, after we're going to continue, okay, we have some, uh, some other opinions, but first, and uh, here I have some sentences for you that, that is uh, really easy. We have only 21 minutes and we finish. 22 minutes y terminamos. So uh, we have to unscramble these uh, five uh, sentences. So for the first sentence, we're having Diego, please. And then Dianita. Pick one. Because the number one says, it's a question. Is that making breakfast this morning? Aquí vamos a utilizar siempre el, uh, el present continuous. Okay, am I the first teacher? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. Mm. Okay, aren't the actors wearing costumes? tonight okay but that's a negative mm -hmm. the actors mm -hmm. the actors okay it's not a a, a question no, right. no no it's a negative sentence okay the actors are aren't aren't wearing costumes tonight mm -hmm. perfect diana and after diana we're having marlon uh, number three Okay. I am flying to New York at the moment. Oh, yeah, I am flying to New York at the moment. Okay, thank you, Marlon, and then Carla. Number four. Are you listening to music? Are you listening to music? Okay, thank you. And Carla, are you there? ¿Estás por ahí, Carla? Okay, si no está Carla, me va a ayudar Helen. Helen. Okay. It's, una, it's a negative sentence. The artist. Uh, the artist. Uh, no. Mm, the artist isn't. Uh, the artist isn't. No. Pointing. Painting. A, a, picture. a picture. A picture now. Yes, the artist isn't uh, painting a picture now. And almost to finish here, we have some of these sentences. Y pues ya para ir terminando, nos hace falta también un par de, una conversación sencilla. Bien, vamos a ver si es presente continuo o presente simple. If it is simple present or present continuous. Okay, Carmen, I need you to select one and then Carito. Okay. Okay. Uh, solo una cuestión. Uh, number... uh, antes que nada, Carmen. Sorry. Si dice, si, if you find a frequency adverb, si encuentra un adverbio de frecuencia, always, usually, todos esos, eso es normalmente es presente. Si encuentran palabras como 
eh, que pronto va a pasar, uh, tomorrow, or now, y todo eso lleva ING, es presente continuo. Ok, Carmen. Ok, number three. Number three. Susan is great to her parents every, every Sunday night. Ok, eh, Susan. Is. Mm, vaya, como es Sunday night, se refiere a cada noche de domingo. O sea, es algo que pasa siempre. Entonces mm -hmm. sería presente. Ajá, mm -hmm. uh -huh, great. Sería ajá, uh, great. Uh, gr great, porque es tercera persona. Yes, thank you. To the present, uh, to the present. <laughs> to our parents every Sunday night. Okay, thank you. We're uh, Carito, right? Carito and then Susie. Yes, number seven. Number seven. Hurry up. The teacher waiting to begin. Yes, yes, is waiting to begin. Yes, hurry up, apurate. Okay, thank you. And we'll go with Susie and then um, Claudia. Number two. Number two. It's raining there now. Yes, it's, uh -huh. it's raining there now. Excellent, Susie. Claudia and Kevin. Number five. Number five. Where is Kevin? Uh -huh. Ajá. Y tenemos la... He... he playing. Ajá. He is playing. He is playing tennis with, with Sue. Sue. Thank you. Okay. Kevin and then Christian. Number eight. Number eight. I am um, not believe a word in says. Okay. In este caso sería presente. I don't believe in. I don't believe a word Tim says. Us. Ajá. No creo una palabra que Tim dice. O sea que este Tim es un gran mentiroso. Thank you, Christian. And then we go with Helen. Sería number 12. 12. Uh, my boss uh, one, one, sorry. Yes, yes. Wants, wants to yes. change, chance, no sé cómo se dice. Change, change. Change, change hopes uh, soon. Jobs soon. Thank you. Very good. Okay, now we're having Helen and Helen, Carla. Number 10. Number 10. Uh, what do you? Uh, mm -hmm. What do you for a living? Okay, what do you do? Mm -hmm. What, what do, do you do, do for Thank a you. living? Sí, te escucho bien ronquita, Helen. <laughs> sí, Estás en la pubertad. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Carla. <laughs> And after Carla, Alex. Number one. Number one. It often rain in Ireland. 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 Yes, it, it often rains in Ireland. Okay, Alex. And after Alex, we're having uh, Mercy, creo que estuvo. Number. Number. Okay, Alex and Mercy. Okay. Number nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. The new law law mower. Ah, law mower. Ah, law mower. War war. We are the moment. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, it's working. Mm -hmm. Working. It's working. Mm -hmm. We are the moment. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, uh, ¿Qué me falta? Mercy. Six or four or six? Six. Okay, six. No estoy muy segura, pero. L. She normally staying? Staying? Ah, uh, she normally lives. Lives. Live in Nor Norbridge. 
but she live living. No, she stays. She she is staying. Ah, sí, sí. We friends at the moment. At the moment. Thank you. Okay, and to finish, we have uh, Marlon. Could you help me with number four, please? Stop at of once. Course. Um, stop at once. Um, you break the, the flowers every time the ball land, land is, land is, lands or lands, uh -huh. lands yes. in the garden. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Okay, and we're about to finish because we have like uh, what 13 minutes. Tenemos 13 minutos. Okay, should parents be allowed to choose their baby's gender? And to continue, Marlon, could you help me, please? What's your opinion about this? Um, yeah. I think uh, they shouldn't, mm -hmm. and because it is, it is, um, it is not. I, I think it is not normal. It is not natural. Uh, we we cannot fight with the with the nature, teacher. Okay, we cannot mm -hmm. fight with the nature. We cannot we cannot fight with nature. So, uh, trying to to choose the baby's gender, I think it, it is trying to fight with nature and we will never win this fight. Okay. And so I think it, it, it is, um, in vain, in vain. It, it, it would be in vain trying to, to do those thing, things. Yes. Or también podemos decir, Pointless. Mm -hmm. Pointless. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Marlon. Okay. Now, what about Helen? Are you ready? Hello. Hello. Is that Lisa? What's the pregunta? Yes. Okay, please. I don't know, angry. Mm -hmm. uh, this news is unique. What could he be who's? Okay, that, that, that is, that's part of your opinion. Thank you. And now we go with Diego and then Alex. Please, Diego. Okay, okay. And my point of view, I consider that is not necessary because when become parents, what really matters is the health of your daughter or your son, regardless, regardless of gender. Although that could be interesting, but could it be funny that this one could choose, could choose the wrong gender before being born? Okay, yes. And as you said, what the one of the, the first priorities is the health, right? The baby yes. is health and the rest, it is not so important. So, oh, well, but it could be like interesting, right? Like, mm. but well. Thanks, Diego. And we're about to finish with uh, Alex, right? And yeah. then um, Claudia. In my opinion, I did not because most parents would like a more gender and it would not be right. It wouldn't be right. Okay, good. Thank you. And um, what about Claudia, right? Claudia yes. and Kevin. Mm -hmm. My opinion is not because for me, we give her the sex of the baby is a blessing. The most important thing is that it is kidly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kevin and Diana. Okay. In my opinion, I think not. I think that you are born with only one gender and nobody has the right to change it. I do not agree. Okay, thank you. And um, Janita. I, okay, I don't think that the gender of the baby is not important. It, is it more important that they have healthy and be loved regardless uh, of gender. Okay, thank you. Well, that's fine. 
Ah, me gusta que están utilizando palabras como regards, less, and so on. Those, okay. Thank you. We have eight minutes to finish. Ocho minutos para terminar. So we are going to have this short conversation. Esta conversación que es súper, súper corta. And like three classes ago, we started a present um, continuous for future events. So here we have conversation three and four that are the ones that we didn't do. We didn't practice. So um, I needed to have screenshot and the last uh, practice. Vamos a tomar captura y vamos a tener la última práctica. As you can see, they are really short. Son bastante cortas. Eh, no, va, no va a ser ningún problema, right? So we're going to practice like in five uh, minutes, four or five minutes. So can you see? What classes are you taking next term? I am taking math and history. Nice. I'm taking math too. Who is teaching the class? Prof. Smith or Professor Smith is teaching it. Oh, no. I hear his heart. Okay. Creo que aquí está mal. Es I heard. I heard his heart. Heard heart. Heard heart. Okay. Like well, teacher Josué. No, I am not hard. Come on. Y esa fue la voz pecadora de Susi, si no me equivoco. Ajá. Para nada. Okay. What is going on tonight? Billy's having a party. Or really, when, when and where? He's having at his house. It is starting at six. Who is going? Everyone's going. You should come. Como la fiesta que quiere ser Diego. So, a screenshot place and we're practicing. And then we finish. Porque solo vamos a hacer como cuatro minutos. Four, five minutes. Okay? So, uh, we already know uh, our pairs, ya sabemos que, con quién les toca. So, see you in four minutes. Lo veo, pues, como en, en cuatro minutos. Okay. Hear, I hear, hear es, ¿cómo es? ¿En pasado? Sí, I, I heard, heard. I heard he is hurt. Okay. What is going on, what is going on tonight? Be what is, en la segunda, what is going on tonight? Bill is having a party. Oh, really? Uh, when and where? He's having it at his house. It is starting at six. Who is going? Everyone's going. You should come. Okay. Hoy comienzo yo en la tres. La, en la primera. Classes, mm -hmm. What classes are you taking next term? I'm taking math and history. Nice. You should come. Okay. Conversation three. What class are you taking next term? I think. Rose Smith is teaching it. Oh no. I hear he is sharp. Her, he is hard. hard As yes, I hear he is hard. Her, he is hard. Okay. What class tonight? Billy's having a party. Oh, really? When and where? Okay. 
¿Qué pasó, Carmencita? ¿Qué hiciste, mujercita? Esa risa de... Es que pucha donde no era. <risa> y me salí. <risa> bueno, no eso, pero, te... <risa> pero ya volví. Ah, no, pues sí, sí, ya te vi. <risa> ok, fine. I'm going to check the attendance list. Ya, Danita, tranquila, ya. Dame un minuto. Dame uno. Yo sé. Sí, dice, sí, dice. Ok. We're about to finish. Ok. Esa actitud, ese ánimo, carito, me llega. <risa> ok, it's, eh, jueves, viernes. Jueves, viernes. ¿Verdad, Carmen? Right, Carmen. No, dice. Vienen los tres días más pesados para nosotros. De verdad, ah, pues le puedes dar más trabajo, más tareas. De no, <risa> son muy pesados nuestros fines de semana. De verdad, bueno, pero a ver más. Ok, I'm going to check the attendance list and we finish. Ok, eh, Ana Mercedes, hello. Present. Thank you, Andrea. I'm here. Good, Carmen. Present. Claudia. Present, teacher. Carito, thank you. Is me. It's you, uh, Christian Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Alex. Okay, ya va a aparecer. Diana. Present. Okay, Diego. Almost 11, teacher. Almost 11, of course, yes, Helen. Present. Thank you, Carla. Present. Kevin. Present teacher. Marlon. Present. Thank you, and Susie. This is Susie. Okay, yes. Okay, sí, te puse, Alex, acá. Estás. Solo recuerden que si pueden avanzar para no tener cosas que hacer, la otra semana terminamos, el miércoles terminamos, okay? We are about to finish. Se me cuidan. Buenas noches. Goodbye. Good night, no, no de tarea. Buenas Good night, everybody. No? Good night. Good night. Good night. night. And we're waiting for uh, a student, uh, but I think he's not going to connect. We're going to wait a couple of seconds. Okay, uh, we can see the, the student couldn't be here on time. So we're having a review of, um, of the
the class that we have the class that uh, we have today. Okay, today's topic was ways to report a problem. There are different forms to express uh, when a problem is, is or when a, a technology device is having some problems. We can talk about computers. We can talk also about some gadget, a technological gadget or some machines that we have at our workplace. So that's uh, the main topic about. As an example, we have a conversation and the instruction says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. For example, uh, good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? Uh, it doesn't seem to work. I see, let me ask you some questions. In the next activity, we have getting first and discuss number one, what is the what is the issue with Robert's computer? Number two, how does he report the problem? We have also here check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. B talk to two colleagues and compare your tables. And from the tables, here we have a chart with eight options. All of them are useful and they can be applied at different kinds of areas in an enterprise. For instance, we have new software, no internet access, a virus, deleted, deleted files, paper stuck in printer, USB ports out of order, funny noise in CPU, frozen screen. We have here ways to report a problem. The way to report a problem is, um, I would like to report a problem. Common issues to report, it does not seem to work. Then I would like to report an issue. Common issue to report, it makes a strange, funny noise. Then I have trouble with, then it doesn't, it does not turn on. In this chart, uh, there were some spaces in, in which students had to write what are the most common failures or problems that they have with gadgets or um, technological uh, difficulties. The instruction says, 
What are the common issues you have in your workplace? Write down the most common problems you have with the equipment in your office. Write the problems you and your classmates have in common in the middle of the section. So it was uh, very interesting uh, because students uh, stated different problems. Uh, for instance, one of them who works in a sales uh, department mentioned that they have problems with the price marker. The price marker is a machine uh, that has like a bullet stick. Uh, so that machine, the, the function of the machine is to paste the bullet, the bullet stick on the product, different products. And you can notice in the bullet stick, the price, okay? And um, sometimes they have a, lo a lot of things to do, a lot of products to mark with those bullets uh, sticks. And the machine sometimes is not working well. So that takes time, right? And uh, that's just one example. Some others mentioned uh, when the printer uh, is not working well, the paper is stuck. Oh, the printer is running out of ink. That is very common, especially when they have to present reports. That is something uncomfortable, but uh, besides to be uncomfortable, it uh, takes time to solve those problems. Moreover, they have to present some reports, uh, print some pictures, and a lot of things that normally the bosses ask. And it is uh, common that they uh, ask or they demand those uh, reports um, as soon as possible. 